This is part three of a grade 11 RT or information technology prac exam from 2022 and that's a paper one and we're looking at the third question which is text files and sub programs. So let's have a look at this question. We've got a project and we have a text file called item list which has details in the following format. There is an item category like magic weapon potion followed by an equal symbol followed by the item name old wand followed by another equal to symbol followed by the name of the owner who owns that item. So there we go. So there's an example of it. So there's an example of what the data looks like and we need to do the following questions. First of all write a function called get owner. So we're writing a function called get owner that receives a string parameter and that parameter is in the same format as one of these lines it's not we're not going through the text file in the function we just need to assume that the parameter is going to look something with that format and it must return the name of the owner so we just want to extract that name there after the second equal to sign and that must be returned okay that seems quite simple so let's go to the program so i've got it over here so we write in a function so i'm going to go to the code and we're going to write a simple little function called get owner that takes in a string so i'm going to call it s line of type string takes in that of the same type as the data in the text file and it's going to return a string which is just going to be the owner's name so there we go function the name function name what it takes in and what it's going to return so control shift c and so here's the code we are going to assume at this point that s line will equal we don't need to give it a value you can assume because a value is coming in it's going to be like i've got the text file here like one of these lines it doesn't mean that this is the line but let's pretend that's one of the lines s line is going to look something like this that's what it's going to look like now we need to send back that part so how do we do that well i need to delete i need to actually go and delete everything up until the the equal to sign so let's actually not get confused yeah i'm gonna put that there we need to delete everything up until the equal to sign and then delete everything up until the equal to sign again and then send back whatever's left over okay so let's try that let's see if we go delete from s line starting at one until starting from one until the position of the equal to sign so find the equal to sign because the equal to sign might be at different places so find the position of the equal to sign in s line in this case it'll be six and delete from one to six so then at this point s line will look something like this it'll be from one until this so that's what s line will look like okay that's great now we're going to do it again because we don't want that either so i'm just i'm just going to copy this and do this again so if i do that and delete from one until the position of the equal sign because remember we don't know where the the equal to sign is we need to find the position of the equal sign again because we're not finding we can't assume that that position is the same as that position we've got to find the equal the position of the new equal to sign so if i do that s line will look like this will go from one to the position of the equal sign and delete so therefore whatever's in s line is what we want so i need a result variable which is already there when you've got functions and that must send back whatever is in s line because we've changed s line to be exactly what we want so let's i think that's it we're not gonna be able to test it now we'll only be able to test it later when we use it obviously in the program but we can check to see that it runs and that there's no syntax errors okay so there we go no syntax errors so that's good so we'll test the logic later when we go see if the program works Let's go look at the next question. 3.2. Complete the code for question 3.2 that takes all as that takes as input an enchanted item category via the combo box and displays all the items from the text file that match that item. Remember the item category is the text before the first equal to sign. They've said that for a reason. And I think that's very important because if you go back to the if we were so these are the different categories, potion and so on. We must be very careful because there is, I think there is a book of potions. If we just look for the word potion in the string, you see this has the word potion in it, but it's not a potion. It's a book. We actually need to go and extract the first couple of letters up until the equal to sign to check if that matches the category that we are looking for. So let's go try. So there's where we get the category from. So display items of a type. So we need to go get the category. So I'm going to make a variable called scat type string. And we are going to say scat equals to whatever's in the combo box category dot text. That's how we get the one that is selected. Now I need to go through the text file. So let's go through our text file algorithm. Do they say anything about assuming? Assume the text file exists and so we don't have to do any error checking. Okay, that's great. So we don't have to do that. So we can go straight away. We need an S line and we're going to need a text file variable. So I'm going to call it my file of type text file. We don't need to do the checking if the file exists inside, so we can go straight away to assign file 
my file to whatever the name of the text file is. And you can see it's item list dot text. Item list dot txt. That's the text file name. Then we're going to reset it. And then we're going to say while not end of file of my file. Very similar to the database. And then begin end. And then here we're going to read line from my file into a string variable. Go extract a line, not, not comma line. Let's go. And extract one line from the text file from the text file and put it into s line so s line will be one line and we will do something with it and at the end we will close the file so i'm just writing in my algorithm getting all the marks there we go so what are we doing with one line so one of these is so s line here will be the same we're not giving a value i'm just writing a comment here will be the same as one of these okay so that's what we got here i want to copy from one until the position of the equal to sign because then I can check if that matches the category that we are looking for. So we're going to make another string. So I'm going to call this what? Let's call this S check. So I'm going to say S check is going to be copying from S line starting at one till the position of the equal to sign. But I don't want magic equal to sign. I want magic by itself. So I'm going to copy from the position of the equal to sign in S line but minus one. So we're going to copy from one till the equal to sign minus one. So we get exactly the word that we want. And then once we've extracted that, if S check is the same as my category that I'm looking at, what do they want me to do? If it's the exact same, we display the whole thing just like it is. So we display the whole of S line. So then we're going to say rich edit rich display dot lines dot add whatever s line is because we haven't changed s line s line still that whole thing so then add it is there anything else that we must do i think that's it we go through the text file we extract s cat if we, we copy from one to the equal to sign minus one we extract just that first bit of the s line and we say hey if that part is the same as the category we're looking at there you go. We're not checking for its position in there because we know that it could be magic somewhere mentioned over here. But let's just run that and see what it does. So we want book. So let's try clothing. And there's all the clothing. And if we try potion, ah, and if we tried book, you'll notice that there is a book of potions there. Ah, okay, so it looks like it's all working. Great. Let's move on to the next question. Question 3.3. Complete the code for BTN Q33 that goes through all the items in the item list text file and creates a new text file called potions. And that item that contains only the owner names. Ah, the, uh, wait, the owner names. They said refer to question 3.2. Ah, we are going to be needing to use this get owner to get just the owner name. So that's important. Of those that are listed as owning a potion. So we want a list of all those who own the potion. And then we want to display how many people. So this is what the potions text file must look like at the end. So this is important. We are dealing with two text files at the same time. We're dealing with item list, which we are reading from. And we are dealing with potions.txt, which is we are writing. To. So we are both writing and reading at the same time, but to two different text files. That's the key. It's two different ones. What do we need to do? So first of all, let's go over here and we are going to double up everything. So I'm going to do an S line, which is of type string, but I'm going to need two text files. I'm going to call one called my file, which is going to be the item list. Let's call it RL, my RL, which is item list, and then my pour, which is with a potion text file. Both of these are text files. So they're both of type text file. Do they say anything? We don't have to check for any error checking, I don't think. They don't mention anything, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's first do going through the item list. So we do the exact same thing as what we did here. So I'm actually going to copy this sneaky, sneaky a little bit. So let's come over here. We're just going to do all of this again, but instead of my file, it's my RL and my RL and my RL and we're going to read from my RL into S line so because we've got an S line variable we're going to need it and then at some point we're going to need to close file of my RL remember RL is the item list so there we go so we've got all that so I need to check if it is a potion that's quite easy it's just a potion we don't need to extract anything I'm, the S line is going to look like one of those lines but all I'm going to do is check if the position of the word potion is a potion or potions it's just potion if the position of the word potion in s line equals one that means the first line of text is the word potion then i have a potion if that is true then what do we want to do we want to add the owner's name so how do i get the owner's name so let's go s owner 
There's also a string. How do I get the owner? Well, I can extract it to get minus the, the equal to sign minus. I, have I not done that? I've done that in the get owner. So s owner is equal to get owner. I'm going to use s line. Remember, s line is this whole thing. I'm going to take s line, send it to get owner. It's going to jump all the way to get owner. Extract the equal to sign. Extract the equal. To, get the just the name. Send it back. So s owner is going to be just the owner's name and then i'm going to add s owner to the other text file okay so we're dealing with another text file so we need to go through the steps of writing to a text file which means we also need to assign file to my poor to the text file called potions.txt that's what they wanted we do not reset when we are writing to a text file now let's see do they want us to add on to one it says there that contains to a new text file see the word new ah so that means we're not adding on we're just going to keep on recreating this text file which means we are going to rewrite my poll that's it if we were added on we would say append but now we are rewriting it and while we are extracting what we need we've got s owner now that we've got it we are going to write line to my poor what are we writing we are writing s owner take this owner name and add it to the text file and then once we are done we're going to close file my poor so we do all the things that we would do for writing to a text file we assign it we rewrite it because we create it every time we write line to so write that line of text to my poor and we'll keep doing that as it goes to each and every record of the item list and then we do that however they also wanted me to have this little total at the bottom a couple of those lines and then total potions equals four so that just means i'm going to have a count variable so let's go our count of type integer and we are going to before we do all of this we are going to initialize our count to a zero and every time we add something to the text file i'm going to increase our count because we've just added a potion and then we're going to add another potion and then once everything's done before we close before we close we've done everything i'm going to write line to the potion text file we're going to add a bunch of those equal to signs because that's what it looked like they wanted if you saw there you saw there was a bunch of equal to signs and then total potions equals the number and then we're going to say write line to my poor total potions why did i put an r there in my variable that's weird but anyway equals whatever our count is remember our count is a integer so we convert it from an int to a string so we can add it to the text well what are we doing we're going through each and every item in the item list when we read it we check if the first few characters contains the word potion if it does we extract the owner using our function we add that owner to the other text file which we have recreated and we increase count and then at the end of the loop once we've done everything we just add that line and go. so let's see if that works we'll run it now first of all take note if we look at the data files do you see there is no potions text file but if i click on this boom and there's now a potions text file so let's double click on it and there you go you can see it is all the values and it says that they are full that's correct is that all that they want is there nothing about feedback sometimes they ask you to give a suitable message must ah oh, once the new text file so we must have that's a mark that some people might easily miss a message must be displayed once the text file has been created so to remember that so all i'm going to do very easily to get that mark right at the end i'm just going to say show message potion file created they didn't tell me what to say you can just say something so don't forget that because that's probably one mark as well i think that's it i think that's the whole of question three there we go that's question three done now for the final question the other videos in this video series make sure that you go to our youtube channel click on that playlist option to see all the topics that are available click on that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way